Welcome back to this special edition of Cattlemen and Cattlemen as we come to you from our nation's capital. We're learning more about NCBA here in Washington, D.C. and the work done to protect the freedom to operate for cattle producing families all across our country. Now joining us is Dr. Kathy Simmons, Chief Veterinarian at NCBA. Dr. Simmons, there's a lot coming at us from an animal health front. What are some of the key topics producers should be aware of? I think one key topic that our producers are very aware of is the use of antibiotics and the increasing development of antibiotic resistant bacteria, both in veterinary medicine and in human medicine. Uh, as we know, uh, there was, in, back in 2014, an executive order called CARB, Combating Antibiotic Resistant Bacteria, which set up for this country a national strategy and a national action plan that centers on the judicious use of anti antibiotics in both human and veterinary medicine, also centers on strengthening surveillance of antibiotic use in these areas. Uh, it also uh, advances or promotes uh, diagnostics and new therapeutic agents uh, discovery. And finally, it uh, works to increase collaboration internationally against the problem of antimicrobial resistance on a global level. We know that we as cattlemen have always been interested and concerned about antibiotic stewardship, and it's been a fundamental principle in our beef quality assurance program. Absolutely. And so tell folks, how does NCBA engage both with Congress and federal agencies on issues like this? Well, as all of you know, we have a policy uh, office here in Washington, D.C. We have about 16 employees, and two of those employees are veterinarians. Myself and Dr. Jessica Watson work at both the regulatory level and the legislative level. In the regulatory agencies, we deal with USDA, Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, the Food Safety Inspection Service, the Food and Drug Administration, and the Department of Homeland Security. On the legislative uh, level, we work with our lobbyists. We provide technical assistance and we go on the Hill uh, to give expert information on a variety of animal health topics. And so why is this so important for producers? Well, I think animal health is the number one priority of cattlemen and women in this country. Healthy cattle produce healthy, safe, uh, high quality beef. And ultimately, all of, those in, of all of us involved in animal agriculture are looking to produce abundant, safe protein to feed the world. You know, we've uh, heard a lot and uh, read a lot about the VFD that's taking effect January 1st of 2017. What would you like producers to keep in mind as it relates to the new veterinary feed directive? Well, as we know, the Food and Drug Administration is implementing uh, their judicious use guidance for the medically important antibiotics in uh, animal feed and water. And uh, this means that there will no longer be a growth promotion use for these products and that there will be required veterinary oversight to obtain these products. So I think the most important thing that we can tell our producers is to make sure that you have a strong relationship with a local veterinarian. It's going to be important to have a veterinarian in order to access these products as needed. But more importantly, as we've always said, the veterinarian needs to be a major member of your animal production team. Thank you, Dr. Simmons, for all you do on our behalf as beef cattle producers. Thank you, Kevin. It's a pleasure.